Hello everybody, this is Duke. Uh, this is No Need for Love Songs, part eight. Um, and uh, what we're talking about now is cheaters. I talked a little bit about cheating in, in part seven, um, but I need you to really understand what cheaters are. Cheaters um, are people who really don't have a sense of themselves. They don't know why they do what they do. They they don't. Mean, sometimes they don't mean to hurt you. Other times they're just manipulators and have no self control and no honor and no integrity. Um, now listen, if you're dealing with someone who does not have honor and integrity they will use you and not even understand why you're hurting. They will cheat on you and not even know why you're hurting. My ex, um, she cheated on me. She got pregnant by someone else. I forgave her. She continued to cheat. And then it got to a point where it was like, okay, this is, you know, this is not, this is not good. This needs to stop. And I need you to understand that cheating is so dangerous. You can, again, you can get pregnant by someone else. Uh, you, you can get someone else pregnant, you can catch an STD and bring it home to your spouse or to your wife or to your husband or to, you know, you, you can even, actually, you can bring it to your kids if there's certain STDs and things that you can bring home to your kids. Uh, so cheating is a really big deal and uh, it, it exposes the emotion, how messed up people can be internally and how manipulative they can be in mind. Um, now, if, if you're dating someone who is a cheater and you get married to them, you're getting married at your own risk. And if you want to hope that they get better, I hope they get better too. But cheaters usually stay the same if they don't honestly seek true, uh, get true help, you know, uh, whether that's from counseling, whether that's from, from again, having a relationship with God, um, whether that's conviction. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, someone who feels guilty for cheating probably won't change. Someone who has conviction for cheat uh, that that feels conviction um, for cheating and and they they really feel that they they need to change. There, there's some hope in that. There's hope for people who genuinely feel bad. But here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to believe some crap about uh, I don't know how this happened before someone cheats. They've planned this thing out. They've thought this thing through. So don't be foolish enough to think that uh, they didn't know this was coming. You know, I, I tell people all the time, this is what I tell people all the time. I say, if you are thinking about cheating and you really don't want to cheat, and you want to get the cheating out of your system, tell your spouse. Tell your spouse that you're thinking about cheating. They will help you get that out of you. They will help you deal with that. If you just go to your spouse or go to your person you're dating and say, hey, I'm thinking about sleeping with so-and-so, I guarantee you they'll straighten you out. Now, um, one of the things that I do know for a fact that uh, people who cheat, often people who cheat, are already acknowledging they're in a relationship they don't want to be in and they are willing to damage their image because that's easier than telling you that they don't want to be with you anymore um, and that they're unhappy. That's cheating is easier to do that. However, that is a sign of very poor character. That is a sign of very poor uh, understanding and a lack of respect for you, as a matter of fact. Um, People who cheat, especially if, 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 if someone's cheating and they're married, um, th they are on a, another level of manipulation and evil. And they have a lot of internal stuff that I guarantee you they're already dealing with. If they call them, especially if they call themselves a Christian, um, they're, they're already dealing with stuff internally. But the, 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 one of the biggest issues that cheaters have is they, if they know they have you in your mind, and if they know you're not stable by yourself, and this is again from the very beginning, I said you have to be able to be able to stand on your own. Once a cheater finds out that you need them, they will cheat whenever they feel like it because they have you. They will threaten you. Oh, you you know I can go out and find somebody else and this and that. You know, don't don't put yourself through that. The other thing is um. Usually cheaters will never tell you that they cheated until they got caught or if they fear getting caught. So even when they tell you, for the most part, it's not honest. 
there's not an honest reason why they're telling you. you know, they, they just feel like someone else is going to tell you or you're going to find out and they just want to talk to you. Uh, they just want to tell you before you find out because they don't want you to be upset or it gives them enough time to make up a reason why they cheated and, you know, uh, and usually cheaters will try to find a way to flip it on you. That's the other thing. Those cheaters are manipulative. Now, remember, cheating is absolutely another form of craziness. It, it's another form of being a crazy person, especially when cheaters will begin to expect you to just get over it. You're not going to be able to just get over it because you have emotions. You have to ask yourself, do you really want to deal with this? Do you really want to go through this? Um, can you ever trust them again? Those are things that cheaters do. Um, cheaters are, are so self-centered. Um, if, you, if you really open up your ears and hear what they're saying and why they cheated, one thing has nothing to do with the other. The idea of having sex with somebody, having sex with somebody because you're mad at your mate, or so that doesn't actually connect or make sense. Cheating takes time. You have to massage the idea of cheating. You have to think about, dream about cheating, you know what I mean, and what the other person would be like and all of this other stuff. And it's a total disrespect for everyone. It's a, it, Cheaters are disrespectful to themselves, the person they're with, and the other person they're with. You know, um, cheaters are, are low lives on such a low level that... And it's really messed up because cheaters actually know who to pick and make their mate. They look for weak-minded people and make them depend on them so that when they cheat, that weak-minded person has nowhere to go. Um, so the, the mindset of a cheater is very manipulative, very self-centered, very controlling, very uh, dark and... and uh, you know, honestly, completely unstable. So that very similar to uh, being crazy, but the way they express their crazy is through self-destructive sexual behavior.